Hello everybody and welcome back to Sonic G Plays the Gungeon. So today we'll be playing as the Hunter. Our uh, last run with the, uh, oh no, no I lied. I, I'm a filthy, dirty liar. The last game we played is the Rogue, not the um, Convict. So if I quickly pop out to the main menu, we're playing as the Convict today. We get a Molotov, a Shotgun and a Damage Increase which takes damage. So uh, if we check here, we have still got work to do in case you forgot, looks like it's doing time 97 bullet kit. So this door is now open from our last run, which unfortunately ended with a mimic. Oh yeah, while I was working on the Galvator Fazit environment, gun boots are locked. Cool. I found on the shaft though, so who knows where it'll turn out. I wonder what else is hidden in these shafts. Right, um, so let's go. It looks like we just skip a floor. I forgot to spend my hedge money credits, which was stupid. But um yeah, we we start with the shotgun. I don't see why you'd want to skip a floor. Unless maybe you're like at the point where you're getting to round five consistently. Uh, floor four, five consistently. Oh, that was stupid. I was going to try and push it. Oh, well. Start the run as you mean to go on. Taking horrible damage. Please, shotgun shots hit. Okay, okay. It's just okay. <laughs> when all else fails, put the shotgun away. And stop trying to be fancy. Duff. Ha! Right. Okay. Okay. This is ridiculous. Just get your head. In, just get your head in the game. Okay. So. We have a Molotov. We have blanks. Let's leverage our advantages. Something that I haven't been doing. That run, uh, fifth floor run that I got, um, was definitely a case of not using my blank enough that end got me killed earlier than I would have hoped. Uh, these guys are such uh, pains to kill. Oh, I can't believe I got hit by that. Oh, well, at least we got a chest, I guess. What is this? Shades Revolver. Someone loses an eye. The Cooler Bullet Brothers Handgun. The barrel has 17 notches carved along its length and somewhat encourages a picture of a smiling bullet kit. Anyone who uses this handgun looks pretty cool. Oh. Oh, so it's just a real... Ugh. Really, really high damage pistol. Which is pretty nice. Oh, so it's even two shots on those guys. How much on this guy? Eve, still two shots. Oh! No, it's not over. Wow, a lot of chests. Maybe you get more chests if you, um,. Okay, this weapon isn't working. Maybe you get uh, a bunch of free chests if you skip the floors. Maybe, like, there's a higher chance to get them. But right, I need to start playing really safe. Oh, no. Ugh. Okay, okay. Still alive. Technically, I can say at least it's not a first floor death, but <laughs> not quite. Um, I think we'll save the little bomber for the boss. I've never had the weapon before. But it seems like it'd be pretty good. So this weapon seems really strong in the fact that it two shots most enemies we've come across. seem to be immune to damage when they're in their, like, electricity charge state. Okay, so it takes three shots and four shots to kill the elite bullets. Well, the shells. Huh. Okay. Another room cleared. Bringing it back, boys. You know, even though we're, like, one hit from death at all times. I just get that as a mimic. Okay, so we have a altar, which as usual says do nothing. 
Ah, it's a chin. Whew, and then we have a root enemy. Who would have guessed? Ugh. Please stop, game. Oh. Our shop requires a key. Well, ain't that just dandy? <laughs> oh. That has a lot of knockback, I've noticed. <gasps> yes, a half art. Okay. Okay. It's not all over. This weapon does not have much ammo. But very much. There's our chest. Oh. Ring of chest vampirism, heart locket, and ring of chest friendship. But we have zero keys and no way to get into our boss. No way to get into our um, shop. Oh, that's the Gorgon. Well, this seems like a pretty decent weapon. Nope. No! Okay, I've changed my mind. I don't like this weapon at all. Oh, no! Ah, oh, I tried to dodge out of the way. Ah, oh, pants. That's an easy attack to dodge. Okay, let's do a restart. But let's do a restart from... Would, would it take me to floor 2 or floor 1? Hmm, I do not know. Well, we'll find out in a moment. Oh, we start on floor 2. Okay, well... We have a chance to redeem ourselves, I guess. I hate this room. Nope. Really? More of them? Oh dear. That's oh! Well, I guess we refill our ammo for the sword off. <laughs> Woo! Ah! Anything that increased, would reduce the spread, would make the sword off really pretty viable. But it's just the fact that you have to get so close to the enemies to kill them, it just puts you in such a dangerous position. Well. I know I said I hate the bullet room, but I hate this room even more. Ah! Oh, they predict your movements, I need to remember that. You don't dodge roll through those attacks, you sidestep them. Kinda like, um, what's his face? That we saw on our. Good one. Okay, we killed him. Ah! Oh. oh wow, I took three damage from that. Okay. 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 <laughs> let's 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 stop now. Ugh. Come on. These guys are so tanky. More enemies? Please no. Oh god, ghosts. Nope. I tried to dodge! Ah. Oh. Okay. Okay. Right. We've learned our lesson. Don't try starting on floor two. So that's two bad starts. Oh. <laughs> well, at least I... Okay. Okay. Let's get this straight. Let's, let's get this straight. This run is going to be a good run. What have we got for sale? Hot lead, box, the heart lunch box, the mail box, and the flash ray. Um, in success, take the heart lunch box. A uh, patron. Um, because it gives us more uh, health. And as we've seen from that run where we got to like 4 armor 7 health, that's how you get far. Like, you know, if you're bad and can't dodge. Which apparently I am. Right. Let's do this. 
So I thought maybe. Can you not? I thought perhaps the benefit about about starting um on a higher floor is um with the uh, each floor that you go to um, increases the enemies like health and then at a certain point there uh, when you just start getting champion aids which do more damage. I was thinking maybe if you started at a lower floor that um that perhaps the um, damage scaling would go up. But the fact that the amount of bullets it's taking to kill these guys shows that it does still go up. So um I still Honestly, I don't see why you'd ever want to start a floor down. It just makes things more dangerous for you. So we found out with the um, Mega Dowser. Oh, there's that heart back. That there's a secret room we can get into for two keys um, if we turn off the fire there. So oh, we'll leave this for now. Uh, in case we find uh, some sort of water-based weapon. Because uh, in which case we can take that down. Like, um, well, the Mega Dazz is the only one I know of at the moment. That's it. It sucks how close you have to get. But at the same time, I don't want to waste ammo. And getting that close into one-shot the enemies. Honestly, I think it's worth the risk. Right, so we got a shot. What's in our shot? We have rolling eye, armor, half, and a key. Okay, that's interesting. We'll be coming back to you, sir. I think we walk backwards. Obviously, of course, of course we walk backwards. What am I about? Okay, okay. Roll. <laughs> Love squishing those guys. Um, I was a big fan of the Armour of Thorns, honestly. But, um, obviously I kind of was bad with it. It's an interesting thing. Nope. <laughs> okay. Kind of expected that to kill in uh, one. I guess these guys are tougher than the bullet kit. Only by one, like, round, it seems. But I'm assuming each of these pellets do, like, one damage. So if you hit all five, I believe it is, you do five damage. Okay. Okay. Just just walk into the enemy. Couldn't put oh, okay. Okay. We're not gonna mess up this run like we just did the last two. No! Ugh. This is this is getting out of hand very rapidly. Okay, we're not done yet. We need to start thinking positively and paying attention to what I'm being shot by. What is this? Oh, just a picture of a shell, it seems. Okay, so another room cleared, a bit more money. Another chest, so we didn't find anything, so... Oh, hello! Oh, this is the new weapon, the RPG. Well, let's go try it out the boss, shall we? And there I need to remember to find... Aha! The Bullet King! Probably my... Okay. Nope. Okay, that is a long reload time. Oh no! Ugh. Very upset by that. Okay, so explosions of any kind seem to get rid of bullets, so... Huh. Seems if I time my shots... Oh god. <laughs> I can, like, get rid of the bullets. <sighs> that was close. Come on. I'm not dying to the bullet king of all enemies. 
Oh no! Okay, okay. We killed him. That's the important thing. One hedge money credit, some money, key, health, the skull spitter, and some armor. Right, so let's go check out what's in this, um... Ha, ah, the what's in the box. So the RPG seems pretty good. I just had a bit of a sloppy fight. Oh, what's this? Heavy bullets. Funk. Increased damage at the cost of bullet velocity. Whoa, okay, those move slowly. So, in the shop, 25 plus 45 is 70. I'm one credit off. That's a real pain. Um, I didn't get the health and the um, uh, key because I might not find a key on the next floor, and that would really suck. So, um, let's rock with the sword off now because we've got our uh, more powerful bullets. Oh, what's this? Oh, hello. Ring of Mimic Shane, Heart Locket, and the Balance. Um, yeah, I'll trade a key for another uh, heart container. That's definitely something I'll trade. I was tempted to get the um, Ring of Mimic Friendship because obviously, our last on the last episode, our run was ended by a Mimic. But uh, we've seen how far extra health can take you. So. Right, so... Where are you going? So the damage increase doesn't seem to be that great. I kind of expected it to be a bit stronger. But, we cleared the uh, room. I think I'm going to switch the budget revolver. I think with the heavy bullets, my um, shotgun is kind of like... I don't know. I wouldn't say useless, but very dangerous to use because of the um, range I have to get in to kill them. Because it does, it seems like the, rather than a distance, the bullets have a time. It's like how long they're in the air before they fade because it's a shotgun. And obviously slower bullets means that it takes longer. Right. Hello. Oh, there's a necromancer somewhere. Where is he? Load. Oh no. I can kill this guy, but I don't particularly want to waste. Ah, waste the ammo. Ah, oh, there you are. Hello. Got you. And then a the sniper. So we got some money, which is nice. Quite a bit of money, actually, which is uh, always helpful. Uh, so I like this room, because they all just. I just have to kill the guys on this side, the rest of them walk into the trap. Oh! Right, let's try not to get hit by one bullet from a single bullet kit. Thank you. Right. I don't like this room at all. <laughs> I had no idea what I'd find at the end. I was kind of worried that it would just be like a room that ended with nothing. Oh! Whew. Right. I honestly did not think I'd get out of that without taking some damage. But I did, so it's all good. Right. Let's get rid of Bat Face, because bouncing bullets are not fun, ever. Right. Another good one of money. So it looks like, it looks like there's an item adjacent to our shop, which is quite nice. You must die. Please. Thank you. Oh, not that guy. Please. Ah! Oh! The ta I destroyed the table with my own bullets by accident. And I expected the table to block his bullets. Well, armor is gone. But we're still at three hearts, which is uh, completely workable. Right, let's try the skill splitter here. Oh, it definitely seems pretty strong. Oh, they also hope. That's pretty nice. Oh, an extra blank is definitely something I can get behind. Um, probably on the shop. Three keys and blue guanstone. Hmm. I wonder what the blue guanstone does. If I if I can afford the blue guanstone, I might go for it. It depends if I find some keys. So, uh... Right. I 
hate your bouncy bullets and I hope you uh, die in a tragic accident on a cliff. Uh, that's the room cleared, which is nice. Don't like having more enemies after a fight like that. Oh no. Ugh. No. <laughs> I was in a position where I reckon I would have got hit there. Okay, okay. So I spent a blank. Oh, hello. That seems like a chest I definitely want to access. Does it? That seems like one of the big red chests, but even cooler. Um, I should be using my Molotov cocktail more often. I'm kind of waiting for the grenade to jump at me, because if you roll as it jumps, you can just dodge it without any penalty. Right, you have to die. Oh, I don't know what I got hit by there, but I did. Not done. No, we have some Super Mario Wizards to deal with. If you could, like, you know, stop shooting at any. Ah. Oh. <sighs> okay. Okay. Room cleared. Woo! Might not have to buy more hearts. I'm gonna switch to the um. Ah, the sword off for a moment. Oh, a heart, a half heart, that is very important. And a wooden chest, yeah, not gonna be opening that. Okay, so it looks like we are gonna need to buy a key to get into that black chest. So, uh, buy a key. Things look like they get more expensive the further you go in the run, which is kind of annoying. But, uh, what's in the black chest? What is this? Vulcan Cannon. Boundless Slaughter. Okay, that I'm gonna I'm gonna switch to the skull splitter for room clear and save that for the boss. Because that seems pretty ridiculous. Oh, speaking of the boss. Right. What are we up against? The Anaconda. Yeah, this seems pretty good. Yeah, I can definitely get behind this weapon. Using a ton of ammo. But it's definitely the weapon we need. Flawless the boss, nice. We got some hegemony credits. Oh, we got the Hexa rifle, which is nice. And um, yeah, we continue onwards. That this Vulcan cannon is pretty good. I don't know if I want to use it for bosses or room players though, because the um Oh, it doesn't have to reload. No, I think it's a good boss item. So I'll save the Vulcan Cannon for bosses. And I will switch to our Skull Splitter for normal rooms. And our RPG for scary enemies, like the, um, coffins. Oh, let's, um, not have FPS issues as we go into the third floor. Oh, so I'm definitely a big fan of the Skull Splitter. It seems pretty powerful. Especially as it homes, the um, you know, to kind of like shoot round corners, kind of, is pretty powerful in my opinion. Now, six shots to kill a guy isn't great. Uh, not six shots to kill those guys though. And way less than six shots to kill those guys. Oh, ammo. Um. I don't know. I think we fill up the Vulcan Cannon. And maybe switch to the Hex Rifle for now. Or, I don't know, we have so many good weapons right now. I think we'll just, we'll use the Skull Splitter until it empties and then switch to maybe the Hex Rifle. Are there enemies in this room? There doesn't appear to be. Nope. Get them. Shall I continue on? Oh! That was uh, annoying. There are some enemies over on this side of the room. Oh, there's a big guy. 
there? Nope. Oh, it's one of these things. Let's get rid of the uh, laser guy first. So yeah, I can I, you can just curve them around the corners, which is really good. Oh, hello. What's this? Oh, this is the mirror that has a chest in that I can't figure out what to do. Oh! Rocket-powered bullets. Faster bullets. So you, um, just have to turn around and open the chest like that. Okay. That's, uh... Oh! I don't know if it affects these skulls. I accidentally got a curse by breaking it, but I think you break it just by opening the chest. So, uh, let's have a... Let's just switch our shotgun. Okay, those definitely go further. We're almost out of ammo for the skull splitter. So, let's switch to the, uh... Hexagon. Definitely a fan of one shot and ghosts on floor three. <laughs> the hexagon is pretty powerful. I wonder if the um Oh I wonder if the um Oh what's it called? Ah the rocket power bullets increase damage. That's what I was trying to say. I wonder if it's like a um oh dear. Yeah, please, please go away. Didn't want to waste a heck shot on the two little guys. Seemed a bit silly. Wow, we need a key to get into the shop again. That's such a pain. Ah. Oh well, we got some decent weapons. We're on four three. We I mean, know where the boss is. Oh. Okay. Piercing, almost one shot, killing two. Um. Oh, did not mean to click that. Oh well. Another room cleared, and we're almost back to full. The ability to kill two of those at once is really nice. What is this? Oh, we're back to the entrance. Okay. I was really confused then for a second. I was like, what? <laughs> have we already explored this room? So I wonder how fast the Vulcan shots are going to go with the high velocity thing. This is the, uh... This room. Super, um, descriptive, I know. One thing that bugs me is this thing doesn't have much ammo, and I am, it is sh every time. Oh, I, what's I, oh, I stunned the fire. Ah. <laughs> I played World of Warcraft, I know not to stand in the fire. Okay, then, then there's this big empty room. Um, I think we just go fight the boss now, because there's no point looking for the last chest if we're not going to get any heat. Oh, it's the tank. Ugh. Oh, that was unpleasant. Oh, I've got to pay more attention to what I'm doing. Right. Oh. No. Oh, you need to die. Where's the other guy that spawned? Yeah, priority one, clear out the trash. Right. Let's just let's just kill this thing. Come on! Yes, okay. So uh definitely the harder of the two um third floor boss fights. But we did it. We're almost back to full. Flame hand. Uh, no keys. Flame hand seems pretty good. Uh, well I haven't used it, but it sounds pretty good. Oh it just shoots fire. Okay. It's not bad. I assume that sets enemies on fire. Right, so. Uh, probably. Uh, we couldn't get to our shop because it had a lock on it. So nothing to do on this floor. So hopefully we can buy some keys and stuff on this floor. Oh, it's one of these rooms. Um, I want to use the sword off preferably. Lots of uh, little guys. Let's reload. Oh. Oh, 
Well, there's that key that we were looking for. Now let's switch back to the hexagon. Okay, so it's still one shot in the little guys. Oh! Where is he? Oh dear, let's not accidentally tap out the key. It's like... I was going to say, I know that this, um... Into the pit. Forever! Oh. I know there's a necromancer somewhere. Where is he hiding? There you are. Right. To clear out the rest of this room. More enemies, really? Oh, we turn him into a chicken at least. And we turn him into a chicken. And now there's an ice slime up there, which we killed. Okay. Those big rooms are a bit of a nightmare. We're definitely looking for a shop with 153 bullets. But uh, I don't know if we get one. So you, you, you have to like stop right now before you summon the abyssal demons from the depths of hell. Okay. Oh, missed him. Doesn't look like there's any other enemies though, so... We'll just wait for them to pop out. There you go. And this room clear, which is good. Oh, it's one of these rooms. Which means there's going to be a summoner. Okay, he did not die in one shot. I was gonna say, I thought I thought I might have killed him, but obviously not. Room cleared? Yep, yeah, room cleared. We keep going. I don't know. Okay, nope. Oh, we're out of hexagon ammo. Right, right, right. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no! Ah, oh, need to die. Okay, okay. Losing the hexagon mid room really kind of threw me off. Uh, let's switch to Flame Hand. Flame Hand seems pretty good. Um, yeah, it looks like it pierces. And it does fire damage, which is nice. All these teleporting enemies seriously bug me. Where is it? There you are. Do you want to die? Please. This weapon does not do as much damage as I told you. But another room cleared. Right, flame hand, let's go. There's the boss. Maybe use the RPG, like on the first. Oh, and then I got hit by the normal guy. Ah! Come on, please. I really got used to like one-shotting all the enemies. Right, so this is there's going to be an item room somewhere along here. Okay, um, can I just go down, thanks. Oh, item room. What is this? Mega hand. Sort of charge weapon. Hit. 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 Okay, we <laughs> made it. Hmm. Nope. Okay. We're killing. Okay, this seems like a pretty powerful weapon. If it one shots those guys, I can one shot like everything in that room. Okay, so it three shots those guys. And one shots the genies. Okay, this definitely seems like the kind of weapon that uh, can carry us through rooms. We're on two hearts. I'm really looking for that shot. Uh, massive empty room. 
Uh, there's our boss, so we can get back to the start. Right. Let's uh, go this way. Make sure to have our thing charged upon entry. Ah! Should have expected that. Aha! Shot! Sorry. Full heart. A key. Armor. And ammo. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm not taking any risks. We're getting to the fifth floor if it kills me. Which it probably will. Right. Back to probably one of my favorite weapons in the game. No. Is that a um cursed chicken? Terrifying. All the poison. Right. Oh. Right, another room down. We're definitely looking for our next item room. Oh. Hello, what is this? Ice cube. Items will charge while active. So the Molotov will recharge while it's. Oh, uh, what? You, what does that mean? Items will charge while active. Active items begin their cooldown period sooner and cooldown faster. Okay, that's pretty decent. Although our cool, our active item is pretty bad. So what have we got? Double vision, machine pistol, and the C4. Um, double vision sounds like it gives you two, like twice as many shots. Which sounds really, really good. I just don't currently have the money. What's in here? A uh, cell room. Got oh, the helmet. So it looks like we're going into our boss fight. So let's get out that Vulcan cannon. Okay, I've never fought this guy before. It, he's a gun. The High Priest, first of the order. Huh. Okay, well, what's this? Okay, okay. I understand how it works now. No, oh, about that. I'm not, I, I missed the blank key. Oh. Okay, this does a lot of damage. Ah! Oh. No! Damn it! Ah! Oh. Pants. Well, fourth floor boss, not bad. We got one good run in there at least. Uh, that'll be it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. My name is Sonic G, and next time, hopefully, we can kill that guy. I will see you guys next time.